welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, joined here by our senior draft analyst, Chris James. And Chris, now that the 2014 NFL draft is complete, we're going to take a look back and hand out some draft grades. And we're going to take a look at the New Orleans Saints to see how well the Saints did this past weekend. The Saints got back to their winning ways last season under head coach Sean Payton, who returned from suspension, and they came into the NFL draft looking to grab impact players to help them go even further in 2014. Now, what I like most about the Saints draft were the two home runs they hit with the first two picks in wide receiver Brandon Cooks out of Oregon State and cornerback Stanley Jean-Baptiste out of Nebraska. From a positional, schematic, and impactful standpoint, the picks make a lot of sense. Don't let the size fool you. Cooks is a guy that's a game-breaker who can play equally as effective on the outside as well as in the slot. And Stanley Jean-Baptiste, a former wide receiver with ball skills that tracks the ball very well, and because of his physical stature, there's only a certain amount of routes you're able to throw against him. Both players were huge additions at positions of need for New Orleans. Now, what I question were rounds four through six. In my opinion, the Saints gambled on guys coming off injuries in place of more talented players. Kyrie Ford and Vinny Sanceri are decent players, but they're coming off injury. Ronald Powell has more talent than the other two, but dealt with injuries throughout the course of his time at Florida. Now, in the same rounds, at the same spots, the Saints could have came away with Pierre Desir, Christian Jones, or even Andrew Jackson in round four. Craig Lawson and Deion Bailey in round five. Carlos Fields, maybe Shaquille Barrett with the second pick in round five. And also Tyler Lawson or James Hurst in round six. In my opinion, all players would have been much better options. Matt Armstrong has a unique combination of power and agility for a big man. He played in the spread style offense at Grand Valley State and is excellent in run blocking. He'll compete with his former college teammate Tim Lolito for the starting center spot. Big time steal here in Brandon Coleman out of Rutgers, who, to put it nicely, was plagued by subpar quarterback play in college and, in my opinion, is a Plexico Burris clone that brings a lot of the same skill sets to the table. Tim Flanders out of Sam Houston State had a sensational career for the Bearcats. He's an explosive runner with tremendous burst that also is a very good downfield receiver, so you can utilize him a lot of ways in your passing game. Nick Jacobs, tight end out of McNeese State, is a willing blocker but very good receiver with soft hands. He's a much better third option, in my opinion, than Josh Hill. And keep an eye on Brian Dixon out of Northwest Missouri State Division II program. Great instincts and ball skills that excels in any coverage. Press, off, man or zone. And George Yuko out of USC is your ideal five tech. He's able to extend and hold the point while also being able to get off blocks well and make plays versus a run. I gave the Saints a C-plus for their draft. The first two picks were slam dunks in Brandon Cooks and Stanley Jean-Baptiste, but tailed off dramatically afterwards. The saving grace were the six undrafted rookie free agents that are extremely talented and could not only just make the team, but also make immediate impacts in year one. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Saint Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.